A very good afternoon to all of us, uh, the Secretary to Government, Honorable Ministers, Gentlemen of the Press. I welcome you to the national briefing for Friday, 3rd April uh, 2020. We will modify our rules a bit. The format will still be the same. The chairman of the PTF will make his, his remarks, followed by reports from the Minister of Health, the DG and uh, NCDC, and ministers that have been uh, designated to report to you today. On our part, we'll have one wave of questions. And please, we, we have to maximize our time. We have to make these questions very compact, no double barriered questions, and no preambles. Please put your questions together and ask directly and point it to uh, the appropriate um, uh, personality who is expected to respond. At this point, let me now invite the Secretary to Government to please come to the podium to make his remarks. Thank you. Members of the Presidential Task Force, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, good afternoon. I warmly again welcome you to the national daily press briefing on COVID-19 for Friday, the third day of April 2020. As expected, we continue to monitor the situation across the nation. We are getting positive reports that there has been a high level of compliance with the lockdown orders in Lagos, Ogun, and the Federal Capital Territory. As I mentioned in my remarks yesterday, COVID-19 remains a potential danger to all of humanity and it threatens our economy and national security. It therefore behoves on us to play our part in the national response very seriously. The federal government has ramped up its synergy with the state governments through video conferencing communication and the platform of the Governor's Forum. By these measures, a lot of gaps are being closed for uniformity of purpose. The Presidential Task Force finds it very necessary to appeal to our law enforcement agencies to deploy tact and caution in the course of enforcing the rules even in the face of provocation. We similarly appeal to all Nigerians to be law-abiding, exercise patience and self-restraint. The message from Mr. President is that no Nigerian should, on account of these rules, suffer any harm or pains during this period or any other time in our national life. To the Nigerian traders and businessmen and women, we appeal for resistance to the urge to hike prices of goods and commodities during this period as our compassionate nature must prevail. This is the best time to be considerate and to show empathy for our fellow countrymen. I am pleased to inform Nigerians that we made progress in the mobilization of resources to reinforce our preparedness and our implementation arrangements. In recognition of the danger to which our frontline health workers are exposed to, government is working with other stakeholders to structure medical and life insurance cover for their protection. I therefore wish to assure them of our commitment 
and urge them to put in their utmost base as they battle to save us from this ravaging virus. Then the role of the non-governmental organizations and civil society organizations in this battle is also well acknowledged and recognized. I, however, urge them to deploy their resources, especially community-based manpower, to show up the arrangements by the subnational entities referring to the states. At this juncture, the following members with specific ministers will take their turns to brief you on the activities of the Presidential Task Force and by extension, the government on our response to COVID-19 pandemic in the last 24 hours. They are the Honorable Minister of Health, the DG, Nigeria Center for Disease Control, the National Coordinator, and a couple of other ministers that would have reasons to step to the podium. I now yield the podium to the Honorable Minister of Health to give us his update for today. Thank you.